Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, we're going to be facing 5 Clash Royale YouTubers for $500. So in the first match, we're up against the boss. We're playing this interesting Goblin Shell spam deck. Looks like he's running some type of mortar deck. And I'm honestly so tired right now. I just got back from a Thanksgiving celebration, but you guys know you come first. So instead of sleeping, I'm just going to record a bit for you guys here today. Should be a fun video against these YouTubers. Pretty high stakes, so just going to want to play my absolute best in today's video. He will have Miner as well, just a typical Miner Mortar deck. I'm going to go for my GK here too with my drill just in case he tries to guards onto it. Ability. Oh! <laughs> That's dumb. That is dumb. He has to Miner on defense too. That's so dumb. <laughs> Man, I feel like Golden Knight is kind of underrated right now. It used to be so good, but after the HP nerf, everyone stopped using it. It's still such a good card, though. You guys just saw, like, what just happened. That's crazy. So we're looking pretty good here. Just going to keep on trying to chip away with my Ice Spirits, my Logs, and, of course, our Drills as well. He's going to Monk in the back. Can't really play anything into it. I guess I'll just have to go with the Goblins here his monk. He's gonna log. I want to go with my golden knight here. I don't want to go with the XC otherwise it'll just probably reflect itself and just die. I don't want to play my XC too early on either against this mortar. I'll just wait for his monk ability to go away. Then I'm gonna go with my XC right now and probably kill his mortar. Get some counter push too. I can go for the drill here since our XC will probably just help us out a bit. Maybe line up on the tower. Okay wait I'm gonna go for a nato. Oh let's go we got it lined up on the tower. I feel so bad for a boss. We got the extra shot too. Log should take him out here, so that will be good game. We got the next match up against Riley. Let's keep a tally here to see how many rockets he can miss in one video. <laughs> also guys, the reason my voice is a bit sore right now is because I kept on screaming at a bunch of little kids the whole day. I went to a family friend's house for Thanksgiving and I was just like doing stuff with the kids. I was also wrestling them and stuff. I had to go really easy though because I've been, I don't know, getting way too strong. Anyways, Riley has some type of bridge spam deck here. Pretty surprised to see him run this. Never really see him using any deck like this. I'm just going to pop the monk ability. Free tower damage. Oh, he just completely failed the magic archer. I think he tried to activate his own king tower but he just failed there. It's not a rocket fail but it's still a fail nevertheless. We can probably outcycle him pretty easily. I'll just go for the Hog Rider. I think he has no Ram Rider in cycle. Only a Monk. Still one shot though. I think our Monk should be really good for this matchup. Gonna be really helpful against against his uh, Magic Archer. Also, I think we got the King Tower activation here. Oh, never mind. Man, Firecracker always messes me up, to be honest. I still love her though, but... She's a bad girl. Looks like the Firecracker does survive. He might try to activate his own King Tower, so I'll try to pressure here with a... Probably a Monk and a Hog Rider push. Gonna go with the Skeletons, and I'm gonna go with my Hog Rider as well. I don't really care that he has a Lumberjack now. I think our Hulk can still hopefully do something. One Hog Rider shot. That's pretty good. Pretty solid start here. Okay, what were those Goblins? Just gonna die to our cannon. Okay, I guess that was mistake number two by Riley. By the way, guys, I think this Hoggy Q deck is really good here that I'm using right now. I haven't actually made a video on it, but it seems pretty strong in this meta. Really solid with the monk in there and everything like that. You, you guys can also run the Valkyrie instead of the monk. I'm going to go with the Hog here on the left side. I don't want to go in the same lane as a Breach Spam deck. That would basically just be asking for a disaster. Maybe we can activate our King Tower with this monk here. Yeah, should be a nice King Tower activation. I'm going to pop the Monk ability as well to kill his Magic Archer. Yeah, really good defense. We do have to watch out for his Phoenixes though. I think we're fine. Yeah, King Tower is going to be really useful in this matchup. Just actually fireball our egg. I'll take that. I'm going to keep on going in the opposite lane. It's kind of worth it. So much harder in the same lane. One Hog Rider shot. 
It seems like we're almost always getting at least one shot in this matchup with our Hog Riders whenever we play them. That was a pretty bad Monk ability. Mistake number three. I'm praying on this man's downfall. I'm gonna go with the Hog Rider. He did activate his King Tower finally, but won't help him that much at this point in the match. We got one Hog Rider shot somehow once again. Okay, I guess this Phoenix might respawn here. It's fine though. He can't really get too much tower damage in this matchup. Normally they try to just like cheese you with the magic archers, but we do have the monk in this deck, so kind of ruins his chances of getting much magic archer value. Oh, I could have went with my monk reflection there, but I wasn't quick enough to react to it. It's impossible to react to a fireball on your monk. Unless you predict it, of course. Okay, I'm still gonna have to log this. I think the monk will reflect it, but I can't really do anything about it. It's kind of worth it though, just to not take the ram rider charge. Oh no, his phoenix has respawned. I have to go with the cannon. I didn't just choke, did I? Okay, firecracker is kind of OP. It is a pretty close game so far. I'll just go with the hog here and a prediction log on something. Firecracker will get the shot there on the left side. Okay, I'm kind of scared of his monk right now. That's the only problem. Oh no, he's going to prediction fireball after log. Okay, I think his phoenix might respawn though. We should be okay. I'll go with another hog rider. He always has to overcommit on it so much. I'm gonna go with the high cannon this time in case he tries to fireball. I'm gonna pop my monk ability here for his magic archer. Okay, the log just disappeared there. I don't know if you guys saw what just happened. Really good defense, though we have two firecrackers. Gonna go for another high cannon. Never want to give him that fireball value. Firecracker does connect on his right side tower, and that will be good game. Really nice and easy free win. I'll pick Goblin Hut right here. Goblin Hut is so good in draft. I have to go with Royal Hogs. Most broken win condition. Guards are better than Spear Goblins. And e Golem is just so broken in this mode. In the next match, we're up against KFC, one of the best Australians in Clash Royale. By the way guys, what team are you rooting for in the World Cup? I'm gonna go to a World Cup watch party tomorrow, or actually the same day that this video will go live. Uh, England versus USA. Not really sure if USA is very good, but I heard it's definitely better compared to the previous years, so that'll be interesting. I don't really have a favorite team, but excited to see how things go. Also, this man is completely dead right now. Royal Hogs are broken. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty much unstoppable unless your opponent has a bomb tower. KFC does have the Mega Knight though, so it could be a bit hard to break through once he starts using it uh, at the right timings for our future Royal Hogs. Eagolem is also so good. He's going to Golem us. Okay, we have to go all in right now with the Prince and Royal Hogs. Oh no, I hope I can get a Goblin Hut down in time for this Hog Rider. Okay, we do get it down in time and I think Royal Hogs will take it. Yeah, let's go. Easy 2-0 so far. We're now in round, round 3. So, just try to make this a quick and easy death for my man KFC. I'm going to go for the Skelly King here. I don't think it'll be enough to actually take out his Golden Knight though. Okay, this Hawk Rider will get really scary. Luckily our Musket here does target onto it. We do counter it pretty easily. It's Elixir Goleming time. I'm going to Rage up everything. Rage is so broken in this mode. <laughs> Maybe our Prince can take out this Tombstone. Or not, but yeah, he's kind of dead right now. Royal Hogs are just too good. Good game. Pretty tough choice. I kind of want to go with the P.E.K.K.A., but I think Barb has a bit better just to have that building. We already have a building, so I'll just go with the Goblins. Don't need to go with the Tombstone. Hogrider is really good in draft, but I think Royal Hogs are just a little bit better. Log is always the best small spell. We could go with Bats here, but I think Flying Machine is a bit nicer just to have the Fireball Bait along with the Royal Hogs. Okay guys, hear me out. Fire Mage is broken in draft mode. Also, it would be really good to counter his minion horde if he decides to pick it. I uh, could go with like a minor here, but I think Ghost is a bit nicer. Just a bit more offense. 
And also Earthquake is really good with the Royal Hogs. So, we're up against Mohammed Light, who is the best player in the game. He also just so happens to be a YouTuber. Pretty good YouTuber at that. He has almost 100,000 subscribers. I'll link his channel in the description down below. Make sure to show him some support. He's really close to that silver play button. I'm going to go with the Royal Hogs here on the left side. We have a really good deck, it looks like. Have the nice fireball bait with the flying machine and the Royal Hogs. We also have the good defensive building in the bar pot. Also, Earthquake is really nice with the Royal Hogs. Unfortunately, Mohammed Light does have Phoenix, which could make it a lot harder. Phoenix is so broken. Kind of sucks that we have to face off against it and we can't play it ourselves. I'm going to set up the bar putt. Not really sure what win condition he's actually running, so just going to have to wait and see what he plays. I'll go for the Goblins here on his mini P.E.K.K.A. I could probably go with the Ghost on his Magic Archer to snipe it down before it takes out our bar putt. Actually, I think I'll just go with my uh, Fire Mage instead. It's also going to counter push into the left side, which is pretty nice for us. He has a Dark Prince. Barb does get one shot, and Fire Mage does somehow splash onto his tower still. I love Fire Mage. He wasted his Dark Prince, so that's a free Royal Hogs for us. Oh, he has E-Giant. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go with my Log right here and try to get back to my Barb Hut in time. Yeah, we do get it down. It's really good against the E-Giant. It's really nice to have the three Barbarians at once. Luckily, we got back to the Barb Hut in time before his E-Giant was able to reach our tower. I'm going to go with the Goblins here, probably bait out something, see what other cards he's running in his deck. He has a NATO. Man, this guy's dirty. This guy is dirty dirty. I'll just set up the Ghost here, probably going to bait out like a Dark Prince or something, so we'll have no Dark Prince for the Royal Hogs. That's always pretty good for us. I'll just log back his Dark Prince, hopefully have our Ghost take out most of it. Gonna set up the Bar Pot here for his E-Giant. I don't really see how he's gonna break through it. Oh, he has Lightning. Dang, Lightning Lightning fully takes out the Bar Pot now. Okay, that's gonna be a lot of damage to the Phoenix, I think. Or with the Phoenix. Oh no. And that was a lot of damage. Royal Hogs are coming in hard though. Not too much damage, but we're still in the damage lead once again. This is kind of sketchy though. I'll just go with my Goblin Surround on his Dark Prince. Don't want to allow him to get too much damage onto our towers. I'm going to go with another set of Royal Hogs. He has no Dark Prince in cycle. Pretty good damage. Okay, he's going to E-Giant the bridge. He might try to Lightning as well like last time. We do have the three Barbarians that automatically spawn though, so it does get some... Pretty good value even if he just does try to go with the lightning. He's going to need our fire mage to the opposite lane. Doesn't matter though. It's so broken it still takes out the phoenix. He's calling GG. It's not over yet but I'll just go with my royal hogs. Hopefully get some good ship damage. Going to also earthquake his dark prince and stuff so. Get slowed down just a little bit. Okay I think we need like two more logs and a earthquake. We need two logs though which is kind of problematic right now. Okay, I think we're fine though. Barb Hut is kind of broken. That's not broken, but it's so good against against uh, beatdown decks. Gonna go with my Royal Hogs here. Just tank up everything. Wait, I'm not sure if Log plus Earthquake actually does enough damage. I don't really trust it, to be honest. I think I need like two more Logs plus an Earthquake. I don't trust the new Earthquake after the Emergency nerf it got quite a bit ago. Or quite some time ago. Okay, he's going to Lightning, uh, but I think that should be good game anyways. Earthquake will pretty much finish it along with the Log, and that will be good game. Alright boys, we're in the final match up against Aragon. We just need to beat him to defend all of our money in today's video. I'm running this really broken Minor Wall Breakers deck. I've been having a lot of fun with it recently. Oh no, I just failed the wall breakers there to tank for his ice spirit. Not really sure what to expect out of Aragon. He has Hog Rider. I'll take it though. We have the NATO and the Bomb Tower in our deck to defend Hog Riders. He has Phoenix too though. Man, Phoenix is so annoying to be honest. We have a lot of Hog Rider counters, but I feel like the Phoenix will 
probably cause a ton of problems in this matchup. Let's go with the Skellies here and I can probably kite it back with my wall breakers. No, I failed. Dude, I'm becoming Riley. Each minute I'm becoming more and more like Riley. I have to go to the missed wall breakers club and the... No wait, I just missed two wall breakers in a row. Double missed wall breakers club. Oh no, or Double Mist Wall Breakers Academy. <laughs> Alright, let's go with the NATO here on his Hall Rider. At least it's always a positive on Elixir trade. But we do take the damage onto our King Tower, which kind of sucks. Because over time he might try to 3 crown us. I'll just put these Wall Wallers here in the back. Oh, I should have said Mist, Mist Wall Wallers Academy. <laughs> oh, he has Monk too. No! Guys, I don't even think this is a good matchup anymore. <laughs> Since I just failed those two wall breakers and... Man, is Monk annoying. For our deck, at least. I kind of hate Monk, to be honest. I mean, I love... I love Monking time, but... I don't like facing Monk. Solid defense, though. We're slowly coming back. I'm gonna go with the modder plus wall wallers. I'm gonna prediction log onto something. Man, I'm yawning right now. Ugh. Aragon is light work for me. Oh wait. Oh never mind, we're fine, we're fine. I was kind of scared, but we're fine. He has Earthquake too. Okay, I finally pulled the monk back with the wall breakers. Finally didn't miss a single one of my wall breakers. I'm kind of scared of his three card cycle with the monk. That's the problem. Man, I feel so dirty going with a magic archer just on one skeleton and still getting a Still getting a good trade out of it. Because he always has to play like a phoenix or something onto it. I'm going to go with my wall wallers again. He's trying to do the nato trick with his hog rider. I'm going to go for a bomb tower. Oh, one wall breaker connected. I'm going to go with the magic archer on his skeletons. We're coming back little by little. Feeling pretty good about this now. Going to go with the miner in the front this time. And going to also go for the wall breakers. Prediction log onto skeletons or something. He's playing pretty smart though. Okay, I'm gonna go with the Magic Archer plus Valkyrie. Oh no. The Valkyrie pushed it back a little bit too much, so it's not gonna hit his tower. Okay, this kind of sucks. That could have been a lot of damage. Wait, no, I have to lock his egg, but I have nothing for the Dark Golden. Miner! Okay, we're fine. Really close though. We have the NATO here for his Hog Rider. Man, his Dark Goblins are so annoying, to be honest. I'm not loving this right now. Oh, shoot, this will be so close. I'm gonna Miner in the back here. Right into his Phoenix. That was bad timing. Oh, no. Oh, shoot, I'm yawning again, man. I'm kind of tired. Wait, Magic Archer! Oh, I think we got him! Okay, almost, almost. Gonna kite his Phoenix here with my Wall Breakers. Gonna Valkyrie down low for his Phoenix. Please don't get a shot. Okay, luckily it doesn't. No! Why weren't you targeting the Dark Goblin? Good game. Thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye!